Now let's take question number 57. Here this question is belonging to topic coordinates geometry. Here the question states how many points coordinate of a point are given x comma y with integral coordinates are there whose distance from another point whose coordinates are 1 comma 2 is 2 units. So here the distance between two point is given which is 2 unit. So here we can relate the distance between two point using the distance formula. Here we have the distance formula d is equal to square root of the sum of the squares of x1 minus x2 and y1 minus y2. So here x1 is x, x2 is 1. So we are getting whole square of x minus 1. Further, y minus 2 whole square. It is equal to 2 units, the distance between these two points. So when we further simplify, here we will get whole square of x minus 1 plus whole square of y minus 2 is equal to 4 on squaring both the sides. Now here we can see that x and y are integers here. That means x minus 1 and y minus 2 will also be integers. That means here we can see that we are getting the sum of squares of two integers as 4. So this is only possible in two different cases. So let us start the two cases here, case 1 when the value of x minus 1 whole square is 0 and the value of y minus 2 whole square is 4. So in that condition you will get the value of x is equal to 1 and y minus 2 is equal to plus minus 2. It is clear? So here we get two different coordinates that means 1 comma 4 and 1 comma 0. Now here we have two integral coordinates for point x and y. Now move to the second case, case 2. When x minus 1 whole square is equal to 4 and y minus 2 whole square is equal to 0. In that condition we will get the value of x minus 1 is equal to plus minus 2 and y minus 2 is equal to 0. That means we get to another coordinates that means here 3 comma 2 and minus 1 comma 2. So we have two more coordinates that means we get two another points that means here we are getting total four points that means here option number four is the correct answer for this question. Now the answer for this question is option number four. I hope it is clear. Now let us move forward to question number 58. 